I'm here in Nampa where I sat down with Canyon County Sheriff Kieran Donahue to get his reaction to the shooting at the Trump rally on Saturday. I'm your neighborhood reporter Steve Dent and it's important to note that Kieran Donahue is the president of the National Sheriff's Association. When Canyon County Sheriff Kieran Donahue saw the assassination attempt on Donald Trump Saturday in Pennsylvania, he couldn't believe it. That was the first thing, it was just shock and then frustration, anger that this is actually happening here. What has led us to this? How could we have gotten to this point in this country of, of democracy? Because that's not democracy, right? That's an attempted assassination on a former president and a presumptive nominee. I don't, and I don't care what party you're with. I don't care who it is. It's absolutely wrong. Sheriff Donahue issued a statement representing the National Sheriff's Association saying elections need to be decided at the polls. And that's the beauty of America. We have that freedom, but not the freedom to use violence in a political way. We have to do better as a country. We have to do better as a society. We have to do better as a political entity in terms of regardless of what party you affiliate with. And then this rhetoric, this, this, this vicious rhetoric that has, in my opinion, has brought us to this. It has brought us to our knees in this country, and it's got to stop. President-elect and first vice president, Sheriff Kieran Donahue. Kieran Donahue got sworn in as the 84th president of the National Sheriff's Association two weeks ago. He's the first ever to represent Idaho in this role. The honor that that bestows upon someone is it's so humbling now that we have this ability and this platform we have to represent all. Sheriff Donahue worries about the future of America. He says we have to come together as a country, especially as we get closer to the election. Let's unify. There's a political process. The political process is in place, but we can't weaponize the political process. We can't do it. We can't use violence, political violence to get our way. And I think my message to all of our people, whether it's here in Idaho or nationwide, we have to come together as a country. Kieran Donahue will also use his platform to continue his crusade to end domestic violence. I'm your Idaho Backroads neighborhood reporter, Steve Dent for Idaho News 6.